Just a family vacation. What's up, Sienna? What's up, my baby Sienna? You're looking so cute. You're looking so cute. You're looking so cute. Cute, 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 cute. cute. Cheese, my little cheese. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here on Hutchinson Island at the Hutchinson Shores Resort on Jensen Beach. It's about a two and a half hour drive from my home in Miami, around 48 miles north of Palm Beach. And I love this property. I'm doing a staycation here with my family. They have over 150 rooms. It's like a nautical theme. They have one restaurant, they got three bars. They have a spa, they have a gym and they have this unspoiled, incredible beach called Jansen Beach. A really cool fact about this property is that right now it's August and it's turtle nesting season. So right in front of the property on the beach is a few spots that are roped off and that's where the turtles have laid their eggs. So every morning around 5 a.m., turtles hatch and they come out to the ocean. I don't know if we'll see that. I don't know if we'll be up that early, but we'll try. Now let me show you the property. I'm super excited, this place is awesome. Hi, my name is Karen Belander. I'm the director of Food and Beverage. We opened Hutchison Shores October 13th, 2017. And here we are at this beautiful resort. We have 178 rooms, eight suites. We have two pools. We have the Reflections Pool Bar, and we also have, behind me, Dune Beach Bar. We also have full service at our beach which is over to my left. And we have a fabulous staff here at Hutchison Shores, so please come join us. Drift Restaurant is Ita an Italian seafood theme. We make our own pizzas in-house and also our own pasta. And we do do room service and to-go orders. We have breakfast a la carte and we also do a breakfast buffet, which is served every Sunday and then depending on occupancy. So we do have our lunch menu um, and also we have our poolside menus, which is a little different. So we serve um, smaller portions at our lunch and more sandwiches a la carte and dinner is more formal. Sea turtles are fabulous. I actually got to experience a leatherback yesterday, a baby turtle, and we took them out to the ocean, but it was amazing because they revived them. Guests just absolutely love everything that happens when they're able to enjoy seeing that. Here on Hutchison Island, we offer horseback riding, uh, paddle boarding, and jet skiing. This is the restaurant on the property. It's called Drift Kitchen and Bar. It's a restaurant and there's also three bars. Two outside and one inside. And what I got is the mahi sandwich with coleslaw. And they're working with a brewery in Clearwater that makes them two beers. This is their IPA. Mmm, pretty good. Not too strong. I love fish sandwiches. Mmm, very nice with caramelized onions. It has uh, some lettuce, tomatoes, and super fresh mahi. Mmm, Melina, this is yummy. Melina, yummy fish. The caramelized onion gives it like a super sweet taste. I guess they have like a tartar sauce, but it's a lot lighter. The only problem with fish sandwiches, they always fall apart on me. Mmm. So, my wife got the mahi tacos. They're good? They're really good. What are you gonna say, coleslaw? Cilantro coleslaw. What are you doing, Melina? Come on. Hey, Melina, you love the beach? Ah, what is la playa? The reason I came to the Hutchinson Shores Resort is to relax my family. Basically, here it's just beach, pool, eat, drink, pool, beach, eat, repeat. That's basically what we've been doing for two days. And as you see, this is the beach. Then you have a pool called Dunes Pool, and that's in front of the restaurant, in front of the Drift Restaurant. They also have a bar there. Then in the back, they have Reflections Pool. That's the bigger pool in the back, and they also have a bar there as well. And it's all connected to the restaurant, so you can order food from the restaurant to both pools. At the beach, you can either get a cabana or umbrellas. That's what we did, we got umbrellas. It's about $20 per day, so you get one umbrella, $20, you know, for the whole day. It's a very chill beach, you know, right next to us is nothing, there's no properties around us, so the only people here are the people who stay in the resort. And yeah, I mean, that's it, it's just relaxing here. Uh, if you want, you can go to the spa. If you want to work out, you can go to the gym. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm gonna wake up tonight to see it, but they said between 12 midnight 
and three in the morning, the turtles hatch. So they're gonna call me at that time. I'm gonna see if I get up. I mean, the only problem is I don't think I'll be able to film it because it's gonna be too dark and I don't wanna disturb them by putting light in their face. You know, I really don't wanna do that. If you live in Miami or anywhere in Florida, this is a great family weekend getaway. They have two towers, a north and a south tower. They have 170, roughly 170 rooms, and they're connected by a sky bridge on the fourth floor. It's a pretty amazing property. It's really boutique. You know, it's not huge, which that I love because I don't want to walk around this huge resort. I wanted to like, you know, stay in a certain area. We go downstairs, we're at the beach. We go to the other side, we're at the pool or this pool. And that's basically it. Do all that and chill. Yeah, now we're gonna go to dinner. Let's go eat at Drift Restaurant. Follow me. See you, mommy, see you, mommy. Okay, so we're back here at Drift Kitchen and Bar for dinner. And for dinner, they changed up the menu a little bit, so they still have the same appetizers lunch, but the entrees are a bit bigger and a bit more elaborate. Uh, what I'm doing is tonight, I'm going with the blue crab and grouper. For a starter, we're gonna share a crab cake. We're also getting white wine from the Russian River in Sonoma County. I was actually there this week on my road trip with Mazda. It was really amazing wines out there. I didn't really drink too much because I was driving, but here I'm definitely gonna try a delicious white wine from the Russian River in Sonoma County. And yeah, uh, see as you can see, it's a little more dressed up. We gotta look a little fancier and uh, have to distract this one because if not, she's gonna be running around this whole place. All right, so our starter is a crab cake. It looks incredible. Corn salad. Mmm, big lumps of crab here. Probably get some of this dill. Super nice texture. Really big lumps of crab. Really big. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Melina, cheers. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. I haven't had a crab cake in a long time. Really good. What it is. This is a pork chop with green beans, mac and cheese. Barbecue sauce. Oh, I can smell the barbecue. Damn good. Uh, a penne pasta mac and cheese. Really good. Okay, so here we have it. Chunks of blue crab on top of grouper with some potatoes. Here we have some carrots, peppers, and a nice light sauce around it. Oh man, I'm super excited. I love grouper, it's been a while. Mm, super light. I love the seasoning. Mm, the crab is sweet and the grouper is nice and fresh and flaky. Oh, it's so good, look at this. Mm. The grouper is actually a big thing here in Florida. We eat it a lot. Mm. I can't get enough of blue crab. Mm. So good, the crab here. That's one thing you have to do when you come to Florida. I'd recommend eating fish every day. All right, so here we have donut dessert. Better, that I didn't say anything. I see one chocolate. Bite, bite. <laughs> she just. Yummy. Oh my god. Mmm. Raspberry jam with this donut. Incredible. Come, come, yeah, come. Whoa, tiramisu. How's the donut? How's the donut? Muy rico. Super good. Super good. Delicious. Super why? That one. Bubblicious. Good morning, everyone. We're here at breakfast at the hotel, and the way it works here at the hotel is they have two different breakfasts. They have a la carte, or they have buffet. You can go buffet. That starts at 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. 
every single weekend and during the week they have it if they're 70% occupancy or more and then they start their a la carte at 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. so you can go a la carte and the buffet is pretty decent they have eggs pancakes uh, sausage bacon different cereals they have yogurt they have uh, croissants um, hash browns you have different breads and then obviously coffee now the car is like more like eggs benedict you know um, short rib hash have a few different really cool items there and so yeah that that's basically it we've been here for two days now we're gonna go to the pool and just relax for a few hours before we head out and today we're also going to the oceanographic society and i'll talk to you more about it when we get there let's go how is she all right so there's a second pool and I think this is actually the better pool because the other pool is by the beach. This one's in the back. It's really nice. It's really big. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have lunch actually right here. We're gonna order it straight from the bar to here and get some drinks. Woo. So for lunch, I got mahi tacos. They look incredible. Oh, look at this. Mmm. Nice, tomatoes, cheese, lettuce, cilantro. It's like a dill. Right. For all you beer enthusiasts, there's a really cool fact about this hotel is that they actually have two beers made for them by Deep Blue Brewing out of Clearwater, Florida. This is the Tangerine Wheat beer and they also have an IPA. The IPA is really good, but this one's incredible. Oh wow, I've had like a lot of different fruit beers, but Tangerine, is amazing. Mm. Wow, Melina. We're checking out, we're going to the Oceanography Society to feed some stingrays. What's up, guys? Bye, princess. So a five minute drive south of the resort, we have the Florida Oceanographic Society. Here, this is basically an interactive park where you get to interact with animals from Florida. Right here to the left of us, we're doing the stingray feeding. That's every single day at 10.30 and at 1 p.m. or on Sundays, which today is Sunday, at 1.30. After this, we're gonna go over here and see the turtles. They have four sea turtles, and then we're gonna keep exploring. Let's go. We are 57 acres. We've been here over 50 years. We work with about 250 volunteers. We do a lot of educational programs, whether the school groups come here or we go out to the school groups. Okay. Residency turtles, we have four non-releasables, about 200 pounds each. We have a game fish with about mm, 60, 70 different variety of fish, including nurse sharks. Okay. We have our stingray feedings. We have juvenile stingrays with barbs removed that you can feed. We have a touch tank. We have a butterfly garden. We have a nature walk out to the water. Um, and we have aquariums in the other room. When you enter and exit the Florida Oceanographic Society, you go through a series of tanks. And here you can see the different reefs that you can find in Florida and also seagrass. We have seahorses, we have eels. You can see a lot of different species of fish that we have here in Florida. And it's a really cool experience, especially if you're coming with a family, you know, to show them what this state's all about. These are really cute, right? All right, so our family vacation up here at the Hutchinson Shores Resort on Hutchinson Island near Stewart is over. We had an incredible time out here for the past two days. The room is ridiculous. The beach is beautiful. Two incredible pools, but the food, the food's out of control. You will love the food here. They have more seafood focus, but they also have Italian because they have pastas and pizzas they make in-house and they have two beers made for them from Deep Blue Brewing. I love beers, so I love that. Tangerine wheat and an IPA. The tangerine wheat was out of control. Yeah, I mean, great place to relax. Perfect for families and also for couples as well. Only a two and a half hour drive north of Miami, about 48 miles north of Palm Beach. Yeah, a, a must do. I mean, if you're in Florida, gotta come out here and relax. And also you have to come out here to the Florida Oceanographic Society. Check it out, learn about Florida's coast. You can feed stingrays, you can see the sea turtles. Really cool experience, especially for kids. Now if you love this video guys, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. And next time you're in Florida, go visit the Hutchinson Shores Resort. I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace.